Alrighty boys, so today, I'm gonna see if I can beat these Roblox games, but in hard mode. The games that I'm about to play today do offer a standard game mode you can play, however, of course we're gonna try to make it a challenge and play the hardest version of it. And the first game we have is called Guts and Block Powder. And to summarize, this game takes place during the Napoleonic War times, but the twist is, you're against the undead masses of the zombies. And alrighty my friends, we are here in the game. Let's not go to join match here, but let's go to find server, right? Then join this hardcore mode. Warning, hardcore mode is an alternative game, but it's designed to be very difficult. If you're looking for a more casual place due to whatever, yes, I'd like to play. Okay, let's maybe do an objective mode game like this one here, Copenhagen. I have a good feeling this thing will be good. Okay, let's be seamen, let's select. Let's spawn it. What's our objective? You must get out the city. Let's break the lock on this thing. There we go. Let's go first person mode here. Watch out for you. Oh, I just took some damage. Is it me or these zombies actually have more HP? Hey, yo, the pizza here. Oh! That was very close. We're supposed to roll this thing near the ledge, right? I think it's that ledge right there. So according to the Guts and Black Powder wiki, the zombies are indeed stronger. Their base health is increased, their damage is increased, and overall difficulty is increased. But anyways, we're able to complete the current objective that we had. I actually got grabbed by one of these runners. Oh! My teammates got my back, thank you very much guys. And then we made it to this building. Let's just go here. Apparently we had to put out some sort of fire, right? We have to go to, uh, oh shoot. We have to go to this area, right? And then we have to go down here. We have to descend through the- Oh, never mind, they're coming up! They're coming up! And I saw one of my allies getting killed. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. I'm using a blunderbuss. There we go, teammate, that does that help? Oh god, this is really bad. Bro, these guys are everywhere. Oh god damn! Let's just reload one more time. There's actually runner coming. Um, I don't know where he's going, but he's going somewhere. Ah, oh, screw it. Just go here. Descend. I'm descending. This is our objective, right? Put out the fire in the attic. <laughs> Wait, this is actually such a huge mistake. Okay, so yeah, that was just a taste of hard mode. We actually tried to rematch this thing again. Now after breaking the lock to the door, and eliminating the zombies inside. We're back to this part here, and let's just see what happens next. That's a bomber. Good shooting. Good shooting again. Let's turn this thing up. Hide the rope. How do I uh, hold the barrel? Oh, this guy's next to me. Oh, what HP? Oh, God damn. And boys, the next thing we're about to play is called Radiant Residence. And to summarize in simplest terms, this game is pretty much 60 seconds from Steam, with its own twist, and of course, it's in Roblox. And okay boys, we're here in Radiant Residence right now. And I think it's actually better we try to play solo here when it comes to the hard mode. Let's just have like these settings and let's create the lobby. 12 seconds later. And okay, for this whole hard mode thing, let's just get like a map, gas mask, map, axe, and like some other stuff I guess. The map is definitely upstairs, I see a radio, some, some other stuff there. We're gonna open this thing. Backpack right there. Got the map. There we go. We got the axe. Give me this axe. Let's open this thing here, get the gas mask. It should be here, and a med kit. We still do need this one backpack here. Let's get that. Might as well get maybe a car battery. Is there a flashlight I can get? No flashlight. We have no food or water, but that's okay. No food and water is okay, because we can easily go to the grocery stores to get some more. But that being said, let's just instantly go for an expedition. Let's go grocery store. Instantly go, we have everything we need. Of course, let's grab this one axe here, turn on the radio to maybe channel uh, broadcast six. Let's do that. We only have one med kit. Would be nice if we have two more, but we definitely need food and water. Acid rain. Probably some freaks here too. So we have some food and water here. Is there potentially at least like two med kits here that I can grab? There's one med kit here, but I actually really want this one uh, toolbox. I feel like this thing will come in very handy soon. Let's head back. Alrighty, so it looks like we're off to a pretty decent start. As I was fixing this leak over here, the game show appeared. And as you guys can see, my firewall was dying pretty quick. Since we are playing on hard mode, 
And after some time, the game show guy appeared and spun the wheel. Oh, come on. How much health do I lose? Be honest. Not even that much. I'm fine with that. Hello there. Wait, what? Um. I couldn't even move! Oh my goodness, bro. Let, let me just let me just get back, man. That's so stupid. So after starting another run, the preparation phase was actually just like the last one. It went okay. I got all the basic things that I needed. I then headed off for an instant expedition, which went very well. Everything was going good until this guy showed up. Who's that? Who are you? Creepy dude threatening us? Yo, we had to use minus 10 of these things. Are you kidding me? I can't even give, even though I want to. Um, no. He's not gonna do anything to me, right? Now, there better not be a random jump scare chat. If there's a random jump scare, I'm actually done. Dude, this is actually so cooked. And dude, I told you, we need a battery. Oh god, who are you? Hello, motherfucker. Wait, what? Wait, what was that? Wait, what was that? That was kind of funny. Oh, and who's there? Oh, not this alien? A oh, hell no. Now I'm going for an expedition before you can do it. Now nah, screw you. Let's just go to the grocery store, man. Oh god, it's acid rain again. First things first, let's get some food because we just gave some to those guys. We also have some water here. That's nice. We need medkits though. I'm actually going to die soon, so we need some medkits. That's one. Should be a second one. That's two. Let's just get out of here. We're going to be on red HP, but that's fine because it's just acid rain for now. This is so cooked. I honestly hate you so much. I hate you so much. This is so- oh my. So our last game we're gonna play is called Decaying Winter, and this game is a survival way-based shooter with a heavy emphasis on individual, as well as team performance, and most importantly, not failing. And boys, we are here in Decaying Winter. And okay, for those curious, here are my perks, and here are my traits. These are just my, uh, basic traits. Yes, let's start the game. Hold up. Wait a minute. We're on night one. I feel quenched. I do not care. Yeah, I guess I'm leaving a safe area. Oh my goodness. I'll take some of this. We also have some light ammo as well. Very nice. Is there a weapon, maybe? If I have to be honest, I do not know how to use blueprints. Like, I'm not even trolling. Hopefully, we can find a weapon soon. Especially, like, a ranged weapon. That would be very nice to have. Of course, a normal weapon would be fine as well. But then we need a lot of med supplies. Anything useful here? I have some scissors. I'll take it. Heavy ammo? Whatever this thing is? Dude, hell yeah. Okay, long ammo. I have some long ammo on me. Two seconds later. We're gonna put these caltrops right here. We're gonna drop this thing like so. We're gonna drop this thing like so. And we're gonna use both these grenades and this uh, carbine thingy. And okay, where are these guys at? That was a pathetic throw. That's fine though, I got two. I don't think I'm bleeding or anything like that. We might as well just take these things here. I'm gonna drop this carbine. We just need some long ammo. And let's actually go back in this direction. This direction usually has a pretty decent loot, I think. Alright, so let's just fast forward a bit. I was able to find the shotgun looking thing over here, which was very useful. I still found some other medical supplies as well. Unfortunately, I did get hit trying to get some other supplies. But then afterwards, the storm arrived. Usually, the second night might be a little bit hard, so let's definitely aim for headshots. We can actually try to make them go through the caltrops. Not bad. Dude, this thing's actually putting in work. I can actually just stab this guy. That's what I'm talking about, boys. And okay, I think I'm gonna go outside hunt for some of these guys. Just for some food and water, some rations. I see one right there. Yeah, come here, come here. You. Nice. Oh, good shot. There we go. Okay, I might be bleeding out or something. MRE? I'll take that. That's literally all we need. Now let's just look for some uh, ammo or something. Really, Nick? Okay, yes, my hands are full right now. Let's use this thing. And then we gotta use this uh, cola. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh god, they're coming. Ouch. 
Oh my goodness! I might die. I think I'm gonna get shot. Oh my goodness, I shot the wrong guy. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh my.